Okay everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today we're going to be looking at the Cinematron add-on. This is going to allow us to make awesome cinematic videos and time lapses of your favourite Minecraft worlds. I'm going to demonstrate this add-on working in Minecraft Education Edition, but it will also work fine in Bedrock and Pocket Edition as well. I'm going to show you how to download, how to install and how to use and all the links and commands that you need for this are down in the video description below. So without any further ado, let's dive in and take a look. Okay guys, this add-on today is awesome. It's gonna help us make some really cool cinematic videos just like this one. Smooth, easy camera movements, easy way to add points for the camera to follow. It's got dynamic and stationary focus points, adjustable replay speeds, and it's compatible with multiplayer modes as well. Now many of you will be aware that there's a replay mod which is available in Java, and Cinematron is basically an alternative to that. It's made by Google Gecko, whose channel you can check out in the description below. One thing you will notice in today's video is that some of the cinematics are a little bit choppy, and that is simply down to the performance of the computer that we're using today. My computer's kind of a little bit below average, and um, with the fact that I'm screen recording added on top of that, it does end up uh, pushing the computer to its limits. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video today as I will be detailing how you can use this add-on in a multiplayer world uh, to create some awesome time-lapse videos. Okay, let's dive in and take a look at how to download and how to install. Here we are, if we follow the link in the description it takes us to our MCPEDL page here and we've got the Cinematron uh, add-on here and we want to go to version 1.1, it has to be 1.1, we click I'm not a robot and just wait patiently for this to get 100% and then uh, get downloads and our mpac file uh, is there version 1.1 it's very important that we use that version appears in the bottom left here click that and we're in so next thing we want to uh, look at how to set up a new world and get this working and, and start recording some awesome cinematic scenes we go to behavior packs my packs i'm going to activate there's that Cinematron pack there for us, and you can see in resource packs there's nothing to activate, we don't need to use that. So we load up our world, and the first thing we're going to do is place down a command block, and we're going to put this underground so it cannot be seen while we're doing our video. So we're going to give at S, which is yourself, a command block, and then we're going to dig out a little hole for this command block to go in. Just so going to dig it three blocks deep, and uh, down there like that. You don't have to put it too deep, I'm just in a good habit of doing that because it interferes with the redstone. Now, um, this is going to be a repeating block, a repeating block that's always active. And we're going to put forward slash function cinematic control with capital C's on the cinematic and control. And as you can see, we get all this, uh, all these command lines down the, uh, down the side of the screen there. That's normal, it means it's working. First thing we do is forward slash function. You can see all of our various different functions down the left here. There's a few more as well, but we're gonna start by adding a replay. Okay, so now we're setting up our replay, our cinematic scene, and it's placed down an armor stand. Next, we're going to add a focus point. We're going to add a static focus point for this particular scene. So just forward slash function focus point. That's where our video is going to be focusing, looking at as it travels around. So we need to add the start point of our um, travel and we're going to add forward slash function point one. And uh, you can see an armor stand floating there. Now let's speed this up a bit and add point two. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to simulate a curve going around. You'll never get a perfect curve because it is made up of straight lines. Uh, we want, we're not going to put them too far apart. Uh, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3 and point 0.4, naming them in order. And the idea is that the we then travel around and we, we're focusing on the focus point there, moving from one armor stand to the next. And let's add in point 0.8 and then function end point will uh, signify that we've reached the end of our journey along those armor stands there. Then function speed, here you can see five different speeds. Let's go for three, 
bang in the middle and see how it looks. And we'll run this finally by going forward slash function start replay. All of these commands guys are going to be in the description down below. If you just want to copy and paste them, you can. And that's a good speed, isn't it? It looks pretty cool. Uh, we are going to be looking at how to do a time-lapse video in a multiplayer world very, very shortly. I'm just going to go through um, some different speeds so you can see the different speeds. Um, so this is speed number three. It's a pretty kind of leisurely pace. It's good. It's a good way for showing off your builds, I think. It's not too fast and not too slow, uh, which you wouldn't expect because it's bang in the middle. And uh, once this gets to the end, uh, we can uh, change the speed and have a look at the next one. Okay, so it's dropped us off back at the last armor stand, the end point. So uh, let's go forward slash function speed five. Yeah, you gotta have the function in there. And uh, let's, let's run the replay from there. Start replay. Whoa, that's fast. <laughs> I don't know when you'd need it that fast. That's pretty uh, intense. Uh, but hey, it's an option there if you ever want to run yours that fast. Let's go for four. Um, obviously, I will expect it to be in between three and five, but uh, let's just run it. Four slash function start replay to get that going. And here we go. Yeah, a little bit quick, but a lot more, uh, a lot nicer to look at than five, in my opinion. Yeah, good. So, finally, let's adjust the speed. Uh, what should we do? Function speed one. And really, guys, the point of this one is uh, for time lapses. So then you record yourself doing it and you then speed it up in your editing software, whatever it is that you use. Now, uh, as I said before, uh, some of these some of these uh, replays, these cinematic little clips here, are a little bit choppy. I am using OBS to record, so I've got that running in the background. And of course, I am running Minecraft at the same time as well. But if you had a bit of a better computer, probably wouldn't have any problems with that. Uh, but let's look at some footage of uh, a time lapse. Here we go. So uh, let's explain how you would set up a scene like this. So um, the computer that you are recording on is going to start a new world and set up the uh, Cinematron add-on just how we explained previously. And then you can host your world, invite another player in. That player is going to be the person who's building, as you can see here. So here I started uh, the replay and then I moved over to another computer. I'd used, used a friend's sign-in on that computer. And uh, as the replay was going around, I just kind of built a little house. I was just uh, having a bit of fun there, building any old house and making it up as I went. And then um, stop recording, drag it into your editor of choice. Uh, mine is DaVinci Resolve and uh, then speed it up and you can render it out from there. So this, this particular clip is at 10 times speed and um, it's still moving around there pretty slow. Like that one speed setting is super helpful for this kind of stuff. And it looks, especially when you, when, I think going at speed one, the good thing about it is it's dead smooth, isn't it? It looks really smooth. Um, so if you are struggling with uh, loss of frame rates or anything like that, maybe just do a super slow one, do it on one and speed it up afterwards and it won't look so choppy. Okay, so here's what it looks like uh, with a shader on. I've added um, a shader in here and you can see it's it's gone a little bit, uh, I'm dropping a lot of frames here um, rendering this out. Um, remember, this is just the character moving. Um, and it's capturing that and um, screen recording it and it's gone a little bit kind of choppy. Uh, again, better computer would solve that, maybe in the future, who knows. Uh, but that's it for this video guys, I hope it has um, shown you how you can use the Cinematron add-on in your Minecraft Education World, Pocket Edition and Bedrock also. Um, do follow the link in the description down below to download this, follow the other link to um, the Googled Gecko uh, is the person that made this. Um, he's got a slightly more in-depth video on how to use some of the other functions. Really today we're just looking at exactly how we want to use this within Minecraft Education and it is compatible with Minecraft Education which is brilliant for us. Right, we're going to finish up the video there, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I will see you all next week.